is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that's, sounds good to me. Daddy Yankee tipped me a dollar. Yeah, I know, Daddy Yankee, I I'm well aware, I'm sure. He's saying the idiots are saying that I faked crying last night. Yeah, I, I really faked it, of course. Thinking about my friend who passed away, I'm faking crying. Go fuck yourself, pieces of shit, would say that. This is the most scumbag, underhanded people on the planet that they would think that, how could Phil possibly have a real human emotion on stream? I do. I, I cried a little bit because I was thinking about my friend T who passed away when I was a teenager. And, of course, Phil's faking it. Go fuck yourself. You're scumbag, seriously. Anyway, let's continue. You are a fucking bold-faced, dirty liar. What the hell? DSP Scanner to me a dollar. Did you know there was a show in the 1950s called Millionaire Philip Burnell? No lights, legit. Never heard of that one before. And it certainly ain't me, because I ain't no freaking millionaire. Very matter-of-factly, tipping me helps me more than anything else. The reason that tipping helps me more than anything else is twofold. First of all, because when you tip me, those are funds I get right away to put towards important stuff. Right now, I have a tax bill. I have utilities. I have, um, condo dues. Alright, that are all due in the next week. And so, your contributions are going towards those very important things. So please, consider tipping me, because your funds are immediately available when you tip me to spend on those bills. Tomorrow I have to go grocery shopping. Yes, very matter-of-factly, your tips pay for my groceries. Oh my god! Now the other thing is, we've got this crazy streak going, okay? Where we've got a 28 stream streak of hitting the tip skull and me putting on the vest. People are like, man, we want to see that continue. That's amazing positivity for Phil and for his streams, and let's keep that going, right? <clears throat> so if you tip me, you go towards that tip's goal, and obviously, you know, one step closer towards me wearing the vest for the rest of the stream. Why is the vest a good incentive? I have no idea. I didn't come up with the idea. The viewers did. The viewers themselves said, we want to see you wear the vest as a way of saying thanks for hitting the tip's goal. So I started doing it, <clears throat> and the rest is history. <clears throat> so pretty crazy, right? Um... So again, thank you for that, guys. Something I never planned, something I never figured would ever be uh, effective or popular, but yet it is. So let's keep that positivity going today if we can. If you can tip me, please do. All right, Volubi hits $20. $20? Hits level 20. <laughs> Volubi wants to learn Tailwind. I'm an evil, dirty, heinous scammer who steals money from little children. <laughs> Uh, Snow Carl started the cheering off today with a 50-bit cheer saying, Do I feel like I missed out on embracing gimmicks like hats or torso apparel and glasses a few years ago when people like Dr. Disrespect and Ninja and others started doing it? Better late than never, but any regrets? No, and here's why. Those people play a character on their streams, alright? The reason that they have colored hair or they're wearing a wig or they got, you know, a vest with glasses and a fake mustache is because they're portraying a character on their streams that is not them. That is a... a, a in my opinion, a character that is meant to be a fake, it's entertaining, maybe to their viewers, but that's not who I am. When you watch my streams, you get Phil. When you watch me on a stream, you're getting pure, unadulterated Phil. You get me, you get my honest reactions to a game I'm playing. Honest answers to your questions, right? Um, that's the point of my streams, alright? I'm not here to pretend to be something that I'm not. I am not here to try to attract children to my stream by trying to look and sound like a cartoon character, all right? Which is what those people tend to do. They're making up a ridiculous fictional character as the focus of their stream to attract people who like this kind of crazy fantasy, all right? Now, it's certainly up to you guys, your own personal judgments, to decide whether or not that's something valid or if that's something that's cheesy or whatever. That's your choice to decide if that's good or not content, you know? Everyone has a different opinion. Obviously, those guys are humongous on Twitch, I take that back and just, you know, no longer on Twitch, but, you know, those guys are super popular. More power to them to do whatever they want with their streams, right? But for me, that's not what I ever wanted to be. That's not what I aspired to be. When I used to do content on YouTube, absolutely, 
Um, I used to be over the top with things like sexualized humor. About your cock, smacking it in the face with it. If they say to stop it, just ignore them and keep on slapping it. <laughs> Remember, yes means no, and no means yes. I suspected you were sexist. That's right, see guys, grab a girl and don't wait. Take their virginity without permission, rip off the pants, and get to your mission. <laughs> You're getting pure, unadulterated fill. Um, swearing constantly. That was part of my shtick. Over the years, I've evolved and said, I don't want to do that crap anymore. You know, that's kind of beneath me. I feel that with these new streaming, I say new streams, but I've been doing it for three years. With these streams, I can be more organic, I can be more natural, I can be myself. We can have fun on a stream without me having to play act a character in order to get sensationalist views and reactions. You see what I'm saying? I don't have to pretend to be something I'm not in order to get viewers. I don't ever want to be like that. I don't want to be the, a fake guy who's disingenuous and he's literally just making shit up and saying stuff that's not true in order to get attention. Okay? I'm not like that. I, you know, I never will be like that. Um, I've changed myself over the years to be more truthful and more accurate to who I am as a content creator. And people have told me many times, they like this. This is actually what they wanted. They wanted me to be more genuine. They wanted me to take more time with games instead of rushing through them to get to the next game. They instead of, you know, instead of just making, talking over every cutscene with ridic ridiculous, stupid, childish jokes. <clears throat> to take games more seriously. <clears throat> to enjoy myself more when I'm playing games. Instead of just rushing into the next project to try to get more views. You see what I mean? These are all things I learned from you guys, the viewers, over the years to improve myself. All right? There were many, many opportunities where I could have immediately tried to, to play, act like a cartoon, like most popular streamers and YouTubers who play games who act like over-the-top cartoons, and I probably would have become way more popular than I am today, but I was never about that, okay? Who? I won! I did it! I won! I fucking won, baby! Yeah! First place, baby! Come on! Master of Tetris, Master of Tetris. DSP is the Master of Tetris. Fuck that shit. I'm the best. I won. I'm above the rest. Oh, Master of Tetris, Master of Tetris, Master of Tetris. Ah, 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 ah. They did a montage of major streamers completely overreacting to it. It's like, oh my god. Whoa, whoa. It's like, dude, what the shit is that? Whoa, whoa. Wow! What the fuck? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Papa Vera comes out with this giant King Kong strap on. All right, baby, you approved it. Let's do it. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, I meant for you. No, no. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Papa Vera. Oh fucking shit. No! No! Papa Vera. Ow. Oh. No! No! Papa Vera. Ow. Oh. Papa Vera. No! No. Oh man. Oh, it's delicious. I love that. Pain is pleasure. <laughs> Now you might say, but Phil, today you're wearing a vest when you hit a goal and blah, blah, blah. So isn't that hypocritical? No, because here's the difference. Every day when I turn on my stream, I'm the same person. I don't transform into a character for you. All right. The reason I put on the vest is because you guys, not me, you guys created the vest, right? You made the meme. You turned it into what it is today. Not me. It was a natural organic thing as a result of my natural streams. Um, I don't wear the vest as a character from the get-go, right? I wear it as a celebratory thing to say, thank you guys so much for the contributions. When I put on the vest, the whole stream doesn't transform into me being some kind of a character. You know what I mean? Um, so please understand that. That I want to be true to myself. I want to be genuine with you guys. That's what I strive to do every single day here on stream. I really feel that's why people get stuff out of my streams. You're not tuning in to watch the latest uh, Phineas and Ferb cartoon show. You're tuning in to watch a genuine guy play games and love certain games, rage at other games, and have fun interactions with you. You're having a real social experience with someone on a stream, not someone who's faking a character every five seconds. Okay? So there you go. 
That's the big difference. If you can't see the difference between me putting on a vest once a stream as a way of saying thanks for the contributions, but then continuing on with that same stream versus someone who literally is someone different when they stream because they want to attract kids to their streams, I mean, I, I can't help you. It's a night and day. It's insanely different. Okay? <sighs> My hollow grapefruit to the dollar saying, maybe you shouldn't yell and curse at your fans in chat when trying to help you avoid seeing as a bad person. I don't know what he's talking about. I try not to cheer, uh, yell at my fans in chat. Um, I don't know what you mean. This is a very generalized comment. And in general, I agree with you. If you have a specific situation you're addressing, I apologize if, it came, if I came off like that. Continuing on, Diaz P cheered and says, Why do you need to go to grocery shopping with Kat? She works at the grocery store. When Kat's working, she's working. She doesn't have time to grocery shop, stupid. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic. Duh. <laughs> That's like saying, you, you know, you work at Best Buy. But why don't you just go on a shopping spree every time you work? Because you're fucking working. We got a $5 insulting tip from a piece of shit. I'm just going to ignore this piece of shit and move on. Very nice. He's toxic. Every fucking day, he's toxic. Every day he's here, he's toxic. Um, choke to me $5. Is it time for you to mark a special notch in the belt of the Dark Side Phil saga? Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> so I guess not. <clears throat> but thank you for the $5 tip. I have no idea what you're referencing. Oh, uh, gay sex with a cowboy hat on. To me, five dollars. All right, so Gabe Horn is awesome. Oh yes. According <laughs> to cut it on this. Now PW dubs to me a dollar and says they meant all the stuff you called me when you banned me. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh my god. Anyway, let's continue. I don't know what's going on. People are like, here. I'll tell you exactly what's going on. I know what's going on because I'm not stupid. Some dickhead is restreaming me, and people watching that fucking stupid fuck stream, he's probably saying something, and then he's sending people over here who are contributing and referencing what he's saying. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about, because I'm streaming my own goddamn stream. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about over there. So they come over here and they say this stuff. I don't know what the hell you're referencing, you fucking idiots. All you're doing is wasting time. Now shut up. Okay. Jigglypuff tipped a dollar and says... None of my business. Why did DRS Gangsta get unmodded? He didn't get unmodded. He decided he uh, could no longer go through with the modding duties. Keep in mind that he was a relatively new moderator and had been doing it for a few weeks and decided that, you know, didn't want to do it anymore, couldn't do it anymore. And that was that. Very simple. No drama. Okay? Pure, unadulterated Phil. Definitely as a person, I've grown, I've changed, I've become way more mature, that's for sure. <laughs> Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>